Well, after about 11, I would say even almost 12 years of loyal service, uh, my scientist was about to die, I'm pretty sure. I think it was about the age where it's about to go into the repair phase. And um, before, you know, sinking money into repairs, I wanted to uh, trade it in and get a car that's going to be more for this hobby and more for off-roading. So um, hopefully uh, with the car behind me, we can do more. Uh, we can reach more spots in terms of dark sites easily and um, feel less scared about driving around in the you know the mud and the the rocks and everything like that. So the car I bought is a Jeep. It's a Jeep Grand Cherokee Trailhawk. I chose a Trailhawk because it's made for off-roading, which is perfect for you know Nevada desert and uh, this hobby pretty much. So after weeks of researching for a good car. I was able to play with the almost exact version of it on a video game. And next thing I know, we're at Jeep. Right now we're taking everything under the car. Ah, it's so emotional. So emotional. A poor car. What, three or four years yep. that we're seeing the seats uh, up like that. They used to be down all the time for our telescope. It's crazy. All right, car, I just, you've been so good to us. So good. You've been amazing. It's so 2017, I intend to keep it for the next 10 or more years, so um, it's going to be a great relationship. <laughs> anyway, we are now going to go inside and take a look at um, why I think it's going to be a great car for this hobby, um, mostly for off-roading and finding great dark spots. And uh, I will also show you why um, I picked this particular car in terms of features for this hobby. So um, I'm going to go around the car really quick and show it to you. And then we're going to go drive around and see if we can uh, go over the rocks and stuff around here because it's pretty rough. So, OK, so let's look at the outside first. Um, as you can see in the front, we have uh, you know, grills for the airflow. And then on the bottom here, there is two hooks, two red hooks that can be used if you know I get stuck in, in rocks or mud or whatever. Usually there is like zero mud here in Vegas or around the Nevada desert, but just in case it's always nice to have um, those hooks there in case I get stuck one day. And then if we go to the side. So as you can see here, um, the, the car is way bigger and longer than the Scient TC. So right now I think it's lifted because there is several mods where you can lift the car like twice. And I think it's all the way, I'm not sure. And then let's go to the back. And then here is the back. Um, I can open up the trunk from here and you will see that all my equipment fits easily in the trunk. This is all my equipment for, uh, for a small telescope and the Atlas EQG and all the accessories and cameras and stuff. And everything fits so nice. Okay, so I'm going to go inside now and I'll show you guys why I like some of the features just for this hobby. So let's go inside. Hopefully the sound's gonna be great. Okay, so here is the inside. My phone just fell. All right, so when my phone fell, uh, of course the audio went crazy. So I have to redo everything again. Anyway, so as I was saying, it falls again. <laughs> Mom, no. Okay, still recording? Thank you. So as I was saying, anyway, uh, I turned on the car earlier. I'm gonna show you again. And what I was explaining is that when I pushed this button here... All right, take three. So, if we go in the car, <laughs> third time. The first thing I wanted when I got this car is a vented seats. So if you go to climate, you can... So here, vented seats, and you can put it to high or low, and now the seat will have some AC in them, so it just feels nice to your butt, <laughs> especially like in in, uh, in summer. Uh, for example, now, like in August, uh, going to September, it's just so hot in Vegas, it's crazy. 
anyway, uh, the second thing I wanted was, you know, a car for off-roading, of course, so you can, you know, go out to find dark, dark areas um, that are not, you know, that don't have any paved road. So um, there is an option here. If you go to uh, up, for example, I can go all the way up, and now the car is actually rising. <coughs> not sure if you can see that, but it's actually rising, and um, the the car will be higher, so you can drive on like, on rocks and stuff much easier. So now we're in off-road two, which is the max. And actually, I want to show you outside. <coughs> Before that, uh, I really wanted also a car that had plenty of space. So here we have a bunch of space for all my snacks, <laughs> and we have some more space here. I can actually uh, plug my phone in my Scion TC. This was all broken, so I couldn't. And um, yeah, also I wanted a panoramic roof, but sadly this one only came with a sunroof that stops right here. So I, you know, when I'm going to sleep in my car, I won't be able to see the stars, sadly. But um, you know, at least I have a sunroof. It's a used car, so I couldn't really pick everything I wanted anyway. So I'm going to turn this off and show you real quick what the car looks like when it's all high. So right now it's you know, at the max level and you can see suspensions are so high. So it's really nice. And now if we go on to here, <coughs> we have a space just perfect for my Orion tripod, which is right there. It just fits here perfectly. And I have um, my telescope here, my, my mount, my battery, my cameras, pretty much everything uh, fits nicely. I can you know, easily do like two rigs, like put two mounts, two telescopes, uh, 30 cameras if I want to in the trunk. I'm gonna show you guys really quick the size of these tires. Look at that, it's crazy, just so crazy how big they are. I mean, they pretty much can handle you know, a lot of things. So it's really nice to know that. And then here we have, uh, so the trunk once again, I'm glad that I can sleep in there. I'm, I think I'm like 6'4", and I can perfectly fit in there uh, to sleep. So it's really nice to know that. And um, I love the fact that this opens up by itself because with my Scion TC, every time I open up the trunk, this would have about a 50-50% chance of snapping, even though I replaced it like three times. But um, so every time I opened the trunk in my Scion TC, I had like a 50-50% chance of dying decapitated, you know, so I'm glad now I feel safe with this one. And um, yep, so this was it. And I'm so impatient to do my, you know, to spend my first night in the trunk and sleep while I'm imaging. It's going to be so nice. So, so nice. So I'm super happy. And um, yeah, trail rated. Oh yeah, so nice. I'm just, wow. Can't wait to drive you places everywhere I go. So one day after getting the car, we drove five hours to Great Basin for our very first camping trip. We had no idea how to build a tent, so we had to practice at home. So Gilbert is snoring. I was wondering where she was, but look, there she is. She had the best night of her life sleeping here. But we were so glad to have this car because there were so many rough roads and our old car would have for sure struggled. The camping trip was a success and even though it was a full moon, we were still able to see the Milky Way. I feel like now we can go anywhere, there is nothing stopping us from going to a dark site. I plan to go to a bottle one zone in a few weeks to camp. It's also 5 hours away, but there is a 45 minute shortcut that I can take. It's a very rough road, but I'm sure with this car I can take the risk. I drove around for a bit and I stumbled upon something interesting. And look at that. Look at that. Crazy. A bunch of like shotgun shells or whatever that is. Crazy. So many. So I'm guessing there's a range here. So they probably shoot into that over there. Yep. 
plenty of holes. Crazy. Oh, fuck, I'm scared. Scared me, though. This little scared me. Wow. Wow. So, I can deduct that the shooter came here through this road from Las Vegas, parked over here, came to this very location, got his weapon right there, and then what happened next will blow your mind. Four rounds from some kind of weapon from here shooting this way. Then the shooter moved over here grabbed a much more powerful weapon and just went nuts towards this tree right there. Case solved. All right, so I had a blast out there. Um, I hope you guys uh, kind of liked this video somehow, I guess, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, I plan to add a few things on the, on the car. That will all be uh, related and with the goal to make astrophotography easier uh, on the field. So for example, the roof rack, uh, I, I saw one of them that has a table that fits underneath the rack so that when you go in the field, uh, you can just grab the table from there and set it down easily. And that's, you know, that's very helpful. So everything I want to do on the car, I want it to be helpful and make my life easier when I'm shooting in the desert. Uh, see you guys next time and catch next.